What's up guys? You guys already know the drill. If you haven't seen the last part of this story, make sure to click this annotation. It'll take you to the first part. YouTube played me out, so you know, I can't upload anything longer than 15 minutes. On with the show. So my little sister knocks on the door and she's like, Maurice, you fucking asshole. We don't know what the fuck you did. Fuck you. So I open the door and I'm like, I'm like, T, what's What's up? And she's like, yeah, Maria told me what you did, and you were trying to steal my social security checks, and, and you've done all this fucked up shit, and you put me out, what the fuck is wrong with you? And she tries to fight me. Now, luckily enough, my sister, my brother, and all of them are there, we're all there, and we calm her down. But at this point, we're pissed the fuck off. This Maria bitch, we, I'm fucking sick of this bitch, okay? She keeps trying to drive wedges in my family and fuck with my little sister's head and we didn't have no other place for my little sister to go so we kind of just had to like it and lump it the fact that she's over there but what i mean we were just at our fucking wits end you know like why the fuck are you manipulating my easily manipulated little sister into believing that we're fucking her over when in the end you're only doing this because you're so bored like she was so bored and so friendless and so lonely all she could do was live vicariously through my little sister T by hyping her the fuck up and then sending her in her direction to try to fight somebody and then just sitting back and enjoying the violent excitement that she just freaking caused, right? So I tell my little sister, hey, go get the bitch. Like, if Maria's saying all this crazy shit, go fucking get her. I'm not gonna lie. I was angry, all right? Tired of this chick shit. Go get the bitch. Bring her out here. Maria comes out talking big shit. And you guys already know a ratchet woman's angry freaking sign language type shit. Oh, you ain't gonna fucking do shit. I'm a fuck. I'm standing there and I'm trying to reason with this woman, right? And there's nothing more infuriating than trying to reason with someone who's just yelling at you and screaming expletives at you and shit. So I'm getting more and more and more mad. Maybe it's the fact that you know, everyone's bored, or maybe it's the fact that everyone there are just generally shady people, but every single time an argument or a fight looks like it's gonna happen, a huge crowd ensues. Which is exactly what the fuck happened here. We've got like fucking 40 people out there surrounding us, cheering the fight on. I'm in the middle, and Maria is on the other side, and she's in the middle. Now, Maria is not the fighting type, right? But because there's so many people out here, she's got to show out. She's got to let it be known that she's about that life. She's clapping while she's talking shit and just saying some of the meanest shit I've ever heard anyone say. Shit so bad, that's where I couldn't figure out how she could say shit so mean and like not burst into flames. Like, like doesn't a, a bolt of lightning come down out of the sky and just straight up electrocute you to death? for saying that fucked up shit, the crowd is helping to piss me off because this woman is talking shit and it's looking like I'm losing. I can feel people start to look at me as if like, oh shit, he's getting his ass whooped by a female. I hate it when someone gets in my personal space, like super close up on you. And ratchet chicks, they'll do that. They'll get like this close up on your face. You know, like, what you gonna do? You ain't gonna do, you ain't gonna do shit, bitch. I cannot stand that shit, man. Like, the only time that it's needed that you get that far into my personal bubble is if you gonna kiss me or if we about to fight, all right? And I'm not about to hit the chick and I damn sure ain't gonna put my lips lovingly on the filthy hoe. So... I'm feeling some type of way about this. I get so angry, I take a couple steps back, I turn around, and I fucking moon this bitch just in front of every fucking body. The whole crowd goes completely fucking dead quiet. You can hear the crickets over in the other apartment complex. That's how quiet it fucking got. My sister's watching this shit, and it's really hilarious because ratchet people Whenever some crazy shit goes down, right, some surprising outlandish shit goes down, they always have this thing where, like, everyone will be quiet, and one, and one person will always start it. If you've seen World Star Hip Hop, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. This always happens in ratchet fights. One person just sitting there like, Oh! 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 He killed her! Oh! The whole fucking crowd just erupted 
and roasting this bitch like, oh, oh, bitch, you just got killed. Oh. I've never seen someone so fucking mad in my life. This bitch just goes off the fucking deep end. I think it had a lot to do with the fact that the whole crowd was roasting her and freaking out of the fact that I just I just did this to this bitch when she's trying to fight. I just basically showed her not only am I not scared of you physically because you're like 75 years old, but this is how many fucks I give about any of the bullshit you're saying. Stare directly into my anus, bitch. Like that's, that's basically what I just told the old hoe. So this bitch just starts screaming at the top of her lungs, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to have my nephew come over here and fucking murder you. I'm going to fucking kill you. Like, but, but she understands that she can't do shit physically to me. So she's just popping off with the fucking outlandish ass fucking threats and shit. Now I've seen her nephew before. This nigga was like six foot five and buff as shit. This nigga looked like Mike Tyson with hair. But I'm not gonna let this bitch have this just on the threat of bringing people over. I'm like, bitch, get your cousin. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. I gotta do the clap with it. My complete disdain for whatever threats or whatever fuck shit she's talking, coupled with the fact that the crowd is still basically doing somersaults. If you want to see how black people react to really surprising, ratchet, fucked up shit, uh, go watch a video called Black People Reacting to Magic. Swear to God, same shit. Just, oh, oh, oh my God. Me and my fam, we're walking back up the end of my apartment and we close the door and I look out and this bitch is down there still yelling at me being 50 feet away now that she's going to kill me and I'm going to fucking murder you and how the fuck do you do this to me? Just like, I'm just like, man, dude, like, really? You know, you came down here setting for Mortal Kombat, basically, and you get offset by somebody showing you his booty meat? So well, this bitch apparently didn't come very prepared to do battle, baby. <laughs> so yeah, luckily enough, man, you know, by the time the police got there, because they did, you know, we were, we were pretty loud. Uh, I was already in the house, you know, and they didn't even come and fuck with me, you know. But uh, the chick never got her cousin, you know. She never got her nephew. None of her people ever come over to, uh, you know, fuck me up. Luckily enough, because I, I would have been beat the hell up, you know. Um, it it would have it been bad, uh, but it never got to that. Thanks for stopping by, you know, hearing some of my, um, my terribly ratchet stories. As always, the boy Blasphemy Sage D. Twisms. Make sure to check out my prank channel. I'm uploading two brand new pranks every single week, as this one you see on the left. Click the annotation if you want to watch that, or look in the description, where I'll leave a link for the people who are on phones. And as always, Blasphemous HD, out.